Hi everyone, welcome to WeTV. My name is Chris, it's great to see you today. And guess what? Yeah, you know it, today is an I Can Make Day. Because we love making things here at WeTV. And that's why you're here, because you like making things too. So what should we make today? Hmm. hmm. I know we can make a mask. A mask? You know what a mask is, right? We see masks all the time. There's funny masks, there's crazy masks, there's kind of scary masks. And of course, our favorite superheroes usually wear masks, right? So yes, today we're going to try to make a mask. Now, we're not going to make a mask that we can wear. We're just going to make something for decoration, something fun to make, and something that looks pretty at home, okay? So let's take a look at what we need, our materials for our project. Really not that bad. Balloon. We're going to use a balloon to help us shape the mask. Clay. We're going to make the mask from clay. So of course we're going to use some clay. And some acrylic paint. We want our mask to be very colorful. Well, maybe you want like a Batman mask and then you only need one color, so it's not very colorful. But still, the clay is not black, so we're going to use some paint. And then, of course, we need some tools. And our tools are what we call pottery tools. We can use all these different tools here to shape our clay and help us get our mask to the desired form that we want. All right, let's take a look at our steps. First, we want to draw a picture of how we want the mask to look, or we can find one on the internet and download it, and that way we have something to go from. Then we're going to blow up our balloon to the size that we want. And next, we will form clay around the balloon into the shape of the mask. And then we're going to let our mask dry. And then once the mask is dry, we can paint it. Sounds pretty simple, right? It will be, and it will be a lot of fun. All right, let's build. Okay, let's get started. Now, our first step is to find a picture of what we want our mask to look like, and I've done that. So now I'm ready for our next step, which is to blow up the balloon to the right size. And actually, I've done that too. I already have my balloon here. And I like to put the balloon into a bowl. That way the balloon can't roll away. You know, you're working on the balloon. If it was just on the table, very hard to keep that balloon under control. Put the balloon in a bowl, problem is solved. Now we're going to be working with some clay and we want the clay to be soft and we're going to roll it around and do some other things. So I like to use the cutting board for my clay, but clay is something I don't want to eat. So I don't want to contaminate my cutting board. I'm gonna wrap it in some plastic wrap to protect the cutting board from the clay. So I'm going to do that first. All right, now my cutting board is ready. And I also like to make sure that my clay, which we are going to form around the balloon into our mask shape, I want to make sure it's soft. And that's part of the reason why I want to put the plastic on the cutting board. Because I'm going to mash this clay around and really knead it and make sure it is malleable. Make sure it is soft and easy to put into the shape I want. All right, I'm going to make it into a little ball. And going to try and put it into the shape, the general shape of a mask. Now let's look at my tools. I have a sponge. We can use the sponge to add moisture to the clay if it starts to get dry. We've got some different knives different shaped knives, different shaped cutters. This one can be used to scoop out or level off our clay. This can be used to smooth or shape clay as well. The wire is used for cutting clay. Don't need that. My clay is very soft. Another shaping tool. 
And a last little tool for poking and cutting. Probably not going to use that one today. Now, I want to make this into the shape of a face, so I want to round this off a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use this knife to try and reshape this clay into the shape I want. Okay, now this shape, this shape is a little more like a face. So this is more the shape I want for my mask than what we had started with. Now I'm actually going to use this and I'm going to just going to flatten this down a little bit. Not necessarily what this tool was made for, but that's okay. You could also use a rolling pin um, like you would use for baking to roll the clay down and make it flat. But it's nice to have a flat surface to work on. Okay, now that this is flat, I can cut out the eyes want to shape the eyes too much. All right, looks a little alien, maybe a little funny with the eyes right now, but small steps. All right, and I want to give mine a nose. So let me try and make a nose. All right, I've got my nose and let's give it a little bit of a mouth. And then the chin should have a little shape too. You know, your chin isn't flat. Your chin comes out a little. At least my chin comes out a little. So I wanted to have a little bit of a chin. All right, so this is the basic shape of my mask. And now I'm going to put it on the balloon to give it a little more of a real face shape. So let's do that. I'm going to gently peel it from the cutting board and then place it onto the balloon and form it around the balloon. Okay, and there it is. So I've made my mask, I've formed it to my balloon, and now we're ready to let it dry. And once it's dry, we can paint. Welcome back, my mask is now dry. It's mostly dry, I'll admit it's a little wet, but it's dry enough. And now we're going to start painting. So what I'm going to do is since I already have the plastic wrap here, I'm just gonna put the paint down directly on the plastic since I don't have a nice little palette to paint with, but that's okay. I've got some brushes here. I'm gonna start with white, it's my lightest color. And I want it to show through, so I want to paint it first. All right, so now that we're starting to paint, make sure you get out your picture so that you can look at your picture while you're painting and try to do your best to match the picture. Uh, you might even want to first get a pencil and draw on your mask if your picture is complex. If it's a simple picture, you can just look at it. Okay, I'm gonna put some red on my mask now. Red is actually the main color for my mask. And I'm painting the colors in order, the lightest color first, darkest color last. So that's why the white went first, and then I'm going to put on the red, and last I'm going to paint black. Okay, I am done. Let me give you a peek at my work. Now I have to admit, I am not a painter. So maybe it's not beautiful, but I like it. I am definitely happy with my result. Now I have to let it dry. And then once it's dry, I can put it up someplace to display, probably on a bookshelf or I don't know, maybe I'll put some holes in it and put a string and hang it someplace. But what you do with your mask is your decision. I hope that your mask comes out very well too.
Hey, welcome back. As you can see, my paint is now dry. My mask is done. And you know what? I'm not a painter, but that's okay. I like my mask. I think it came out really well. And this is the first time that I've ever tried this project. So next time, I'll do even better. How about your mask? I can't wait to see it. Please share your mask with us because I love to see the things that you make, okay? Well, that's all for today. See you next time on WeTV. Goodbye, everyone.